So if you want to move all your PC games to a brand new hard drive, but you are dreading having to spend hours downloading your games all over again, well, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to. Because in this series of videos, I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step guide that you need to follow so that you can get all your games onto your new hard drive without having to download them all again. So a few minutes of your time spent here is going to save you hours afterwards. Now each week a different video is going to focus on a different game store and this week it's a turn of blizzardsbattle.net and I'm going to be showing you the easy to follow steps to get a new drive set up so it's ready for you to install games to it. Welcome to my tech gear, let's get into it. So before you can start downloading and saving anything to a new hard drive the first thing that you need to do is set it up. Now for ease of use, I would recommend an external hard drive for use as you only need to plug it into a USB port instead of opening up your PC case. However, whether you use an external or an internal drive, the steps for formatting and setting it up are the same. First things first, let's open up the disk management tool. Now in order to do that, press the Windows key to bring up the Windows home menu, type in disk, and then there is a create and format hard disk partition option. So just click on that. When you open up that disk management tool, you are going to see your default drive in this list. Now, for most people, it's going to be D or an E. For me, it's the one touch drive that I've just attached to my PC. So it's E for me. Now you just need to format your hard drive. So in the disk management tool, click on your hard drive, right click and then select format. By default, you're pretty much going to leave it as NTFS. You can change if you want to, but for most people, NTFS. And then just click on OK and it will do a quick format of that drive. Um, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it, but that's how you set up a new drive because it's now all ready once that format's finished for you to install new games to. To set up blizzardsbattle.net app to use your new hard drive, you need to do three things. You need to change the default installation folder to use your new drive. You need to copy the currently installed games over to that new drive. And then you need to tell the Blizzard app to use the new drive for the games that you just moved. So to change the default installation folder in the Blizzard app, click on the drop down logo in the top left and select settings. Now select downloads from the list on the left hand side. Now you will see the default installation directory. Now for most people, it's going to say C program files or something similar. Um, for me, it's currently D games blizzard which is another hard drive i've got in my pc now we're going to change this but remember this folder location before you change it as you are going to need it later to go to that directory to copy the games over so click on change and then select a folder on your new drive so one touch is the new drive i've got a games folder and i like to set up a folder for each game store that i have so i know that all the games from that game store are in that folder so there's a blizzard folder there it's currently empty um, but it won't be by the time we finish the video and click on done and all your future games will now be installed to that directory. Now we need to copy your install games over to that new drive. So first up, we're gonna open up a file explorer. Um, you can use the Windows plus the E key as a quick keyboard shortcut for doing that. And we're gonna go to that original folder that we had. So the for me, that was that D games blizzard and you see i've got overwatch installed in the blizzardsbattle.net app if you've got more than one game installed then you'll see a whole list of all your installed games in this folder now open up a new explorer window and go to the folder location of the new hard drive of where you want those games installed to so that was the e games blizzard folder now click and drag all your games folders from the current folder to the new one This will copy everything over to your new drive. Now there is a big advantage of doing this because it's copying it rather than uncut and pasting. If something goes wrong with the transfer, then you still have your files in their original location and you haven't lost any data. So you can go and try it again. Once that's finished, we now need to tell the Blizzard app to use this new location for all the games currently installed. Now, before we go any further, do make sure that you go into the original folder where you just copied it over and delete that folder. So now the only place where Overwatch is, is in the new location on your new drive. Now in the Blizzard app, click on games, click on installed and you have all your games that you've currently got installed. And if you click on Overwatch, it has the install option here. But right underneath, there's a already installed locate the game option. So we're going to click on locate the game. Now go to your E folder or whatever your new drive is, and then click on the Overwatch folder that you just copied it across select folder and now it's now going to start using the 
new location on your new drive. It does have to go through a little initialization program, but that only takes a couple of seconds and it's all done. So the next time we now click on play. So now you've got Overwatch playing on your PC from the new location on your new drive. Pretty cool. Now you are going to have to do that little locate game hack for every single game when you go and play it, but it only takes a couple of seconds and it saves you hours of time compared to downloading the games yourself. But once you've done that for each game, you're all ready to go and you're all done. If you want to find out how to move games in more game stores or find out which hard drive is best for gaming for you, then be sure to check out the links up here. I will put some links actually to some hard drive options in the description down below for you. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share it. Consider subscribing if you're not. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.